Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you, give you a little tour here of a family bedroom. All right guys, let's take a look here at the family bedroom. Now, ideally, this room is for about four people or if you're looking for more space. There's quite a bit of uh, beds available and seating available for plenty of people in this room, but uh, generally about four people, I think, is the max in the family bedroom. So let's take a look around here. First off, um, take a look here at the this panel you can turn the the ceiling light on or off night or uh, regular daytime which is how it's set now so that's going to be a little bit brighter and you've got controls here for the announcements overhead so if you want to keep those to a minimum low or off so you don't hear them at night when you're sleeping then just turn that to zero and then to the blank space now there is only one outlet in this entire room which is kind of crazy so if you have one of those um, little boxes that holds a lot of USB ports. We have one that holds two and we have one that holds four. That is going to be your best option to bring and then you'll be able to charge more things here if you have more than one thing, which most people do. Uh, okay, so there's that and we've got a closet right here. So this closet is not very deep, just right here and you've got some towels here for towels and for washcloths. Now there is no bathroom in the family bedroom because the space is taken up by all of the seating and by the bed. So we're gonna take a look here at what the seating looks like. So you could sit two people in each of these, right? And then, so really like a mom and dad, whatever. And then maybe like a kid here in this seat. And then there's another seat right here behind us. Okay, um, and then now this one you'll have to fold down if you're going to use it. The other thing is that you do have your table here and you have one at the other end as well. So you're going to pull that out and flip out. We're going to keep that in though. And you've got your privacy curtains here as well. Pull those. Uh, we'll talk about the upper bunks here in just a second, but you'll see this one here is kind of a shorter one. So that's going to be more for, you know, a small child. Um, and then this one's a little bit longer here now. If you do need more space, these two do come together right here in the corner. And again, we'll make this up in a little bit and show you what that looks like. Um, and then these all fold down into bed. So it is gonna be pretty tight space once you have this all made up, because once these slide out, uh, you're looking at pretty narrow, actually, almost a little bit less uh, space than you would have in a regular roomette. Um, you do have a table as well on the other side here so you've got this little table here and then you've got a little trash bin and a little place where you can just set some stuff here in the corner as well but it's pretty spacious for the most part but when you do have it set up for um, the beds it is going to be pretty limited but that's only going to be at night when you're sleeping but we'll come back here in just a minute redo it all set all the beds up and we'll show you what that looks like in just a moment Okay, we've put the beds out, put the uppers down, the ladders attached, and we've got the bed down here all laid out. So this is actually quite wide. It's wider than it would be if you were in a roomette for the lower bunk. Um, so you've got, it feels like it's almost like one and a half maybe um, of the length, but Rob will measure that in just a minute. But this is nice if you've got someone who's tall and you're looking to have space and you really do want to sleep, you've got this whole length here um, to sleep. So it's going to be longer than six feet here. So if you're six feet or a little bit taller, this is perfect space for you. Um, so this would be a good, a good um, room for you to stay in. So that's this one. Now what you can do if you just need the bed itself, you can use just this for an adult and then that end is actually for a child. So you would actually lay this and then bring this down as well and add it in for a bed, which is actually gonna be the same size as this one up here. So these are the mattresses that go down here and this is the double mattress that goes down here and you also get um, some blankets as well. Um, and you've got your 
your uppers to secure you and everything. Now this ladder, this is the best spot for it because both beds could use it. You both have access to it. You've got um, the stairs right here is perfect for this person and this person also could reach their bed as well or um, child. What I like down here is also that there is room under here to store bags, which is really good um, to keep the floor space kind of open. So you do have um, a little bit more space than I thought out here, but back here is it's about like in a roomette. So I'm just standing here and, and just have enough room for width for myself. Um, but there is also quite a bit more space out here in the middle and then as you're going out towards the door. So Rob is going to give you a little view of the uppers here and he's going to bring his handy dandy tape measure with him and give you some more information on um, the widths and all that kind of good stuff. Welcome up to the penthouse suite in the family bedroom. I am in the smallest of the two upper bunks right now and it is quite a bit smaller than you would get on a viewliner uh, as far as headroom goes but this is great because for a, for a child or for someone that's not super tall it would be perfect this bed is 24 inches wide and I just measured the length of it and it is five feet long so uh, if you're like a six foot adult this probably isn't gonna be that comfortable but anybody five feet you know five one or shorter it's gonna be perfectly fine. The the bigger bed over here uh, that I'm not in is the same width, 24 inches, but it is six feet long. Now, uh, one thing to mention about this upper bunk is that it does have about 22 inches of head space. So if you wanna try to sit up, you just, you just can't do it. Um, you're gonna be laying down when you're up here. So this is mostly used for sleeping, but if you have a child, that is quite a bit smaller than I am, which is likely. Uh, you can, they can probably sit up up here and do, do whatever they need. Let me show you a couple features up here that we have. Um, <clears throat> there is an air vent right above you. Now, the thing is that on some of the uh, roomettes, the vents are shooting right out at you. So on this one, they're facing away, which is nice if you don't like it super cold. The other thing is, we do have a little pouch back here for your uh, valuables or snacks or anything like that uh, that you might want to use in the middle of the night. There are no windows up here, so that's good if you like it really dark, but a downside if you want to be able to see out in the middle of the night. Uh, but other than that, it is a pretty, pretty nice place. This family bedroom of all the rooms on any Amtrak train, this family bedroom offers the most sleeping space because you can easily sleep even a middle schooler or, or a smaller high schooler up here, you can sleep a full adult on this bed over here, and you can easily sleep uh, an adult down here and another child over here. So you've got room for four easily. Uh, and if you wanna have two people on the bottom, this is the room for you because some people don't like to have someone up top or neither of you wants to be up here. You could do two people down there on the big bed or one on the short bed and one on the big bed. So uh, that's it for this, uh, the bedroom accommodation. I'm gonna go take you now and show you what the bathroom and showers look like on this, for this room, because there is not one in the, in the actual room. And this is where you would store your bags if you didn't check them or don't wanna put them in your room. And then this is the hallway with the bathrooms in it. Okay, I'm in the shower room on the Superliner train with the family bedroom, and it is just down the hall. It's on the lower level, same as in the same area that your, your bedroom will be. So this is what the shower looks like. It has a, uh, a head that'll swivel, and it is pretty good size. So I would say it's bigger than a cruise ship shower. And there are handles and everything in here. Uh, and then there's a little sitting area, dressing area and a little shelf to put stuff. And they do have you put your towels down below so you don't need to uh, take them back to your room. Don't put them on the floor, put them in the bag right here. But this is a nice little shower to use for an overnight train. And I think it's perfectly uh, fine and pretty good. Okay, I've moved on to the bathroom in the Superliner uh, sleeper car. So there are three of these bathrooms in the car and they look like this. This one is much smaller than some of the other ones. Um, so 
it's kind of hard for me to move around in here, but it is perfectly fine for use. It is one of the ones where if you push down, it'll stop running water as soon as you uh, let up. Uh, and that can be a little difficult for brushing your teeth and such, but there are three of these bathrooms on this one hallway. So the good news is you'll never really have to wait because I've never seen on one of these cars where all three of these are used and it's pretty easy to get access to one. As we've been traveling now in this family bedroom on the Empire Builder for a little while, a few things have come to mind. And the first is that one of the greatest features of this room is that there are windows on both sides. and. That is great for people traveling on like the California Zephyr or the Coastar Light who want to guarantee themselves a certain side of the train. In this type of car, it's one of the few in Amtrak that you can guarantee yourself a, a, a view out both sides of the train because it does have windows that look both ways. So if that's important to you or if uh, a lot of extra room for sleeping is important to you, you have four people, this is definitely the way to go.